Hey guys, we are going to be doing a Walmart grocery haul today. Some of the stuff um, is just food stuff, and then we got some household. Some well, not household, but um, you'll see. Anyways, we also got a little bitty things from Lowe's. A little bitty things, a little bit of things, some things for Noah for his lawnmower project. So I'm gonna get started over here. This is the only bread thing we bought this time, which after I got home, I looked and we might should have gotten a loaf of bread, but I don't know. We probably will be having, we'll probably have plenty with the meal plan that I've got this time. But anyway, I got this flat out, um, flat out bread anyways, so that uh, I could have wraps and stuff or we could have wraps and stuff. Mostly it's probably gonna be me. There's only six here and they have a lot of fiber in their whole grain so i thought that would be good for me for maybe breakfast or lunches got some mandarin oranges they are um, three pounds here and for some reason the uh barcode didn't want to work so they caused me some trouble but that's okay um <laughs> got some bananas <laughs> jeff asked me do you want some green bananas or green bananas? I said, I think I'll take some green bananas because that's all they had, which actually I like to get them like this because they last a little bit longer. Got two cucumbers, two Granny Smith apples, and three Gala apples, and then this family size Caesar uh, salad kit. I'm going to take this for this week and break it. I'm going to wash it because even though you're not supposed to have to wash this, I do it anyway, but I'm going to wash the romaine, which I know I could have cut it up myself. But they didn't even have hardly any. They didn't have hardly anything at Walmart whenever we went. But anyways, I'm going to make me some lunches with this for the week. Um, some little salads. I have some steak already cooked in the um, freezer that is already cut perfectly for salads or sandwiches. So that's going to be happening. And um, you should have already seen that video with meal prep by the time this goes up because this is a week behind anyways. Got some Lay's Stack Sour Cream and Onion and Mesquite Barbecue Potato Chips. Got these Fritos uh, Flavor Twist Honey Barbecue and then some original uh, Wavy Lay's. Just because for some reason we wanted junk food. And got two things of the sugar cones. Um, Selena d said that if she has these cones, she doesn't eat as much ice cream. And ice cream does have an effect on her where it makes her feel a little bit sick sometimes. So it's better for her to do like that. And this right here was a super surprise. I got this because it says high fiber. And it was supposed to be like $4 or something. And I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't even know if I like maple and brown sugar. Because normally I get straight plain oatmeal. I don't get any flavors. I'm a regular oatmeal kind of girl. And then I put my own um, sweetener and milk in it or whatever. Well, I decided I'll get it because it's high fiber. And it did have more fiber than others. I decided I would go ahead and get it. And then whenever I got to the register, it was $2 cheaper than what it was supposed to be, which was an awesome bonus. Then I found out I had an Abata rebate for $0.75, cent, which was another bonus. Then I got a $0.15 cent bonus on top of that. I was like, Quaker, you're doing me good today. So I got this for like a little bit over a dollar. Who knows? I may have another bonus by the time I look at my phone again. <laughs> but either way, get a Abata if you don't have it. Look in my link tree. Follow that link, get you some money back rebates. Okay, so I got this trail mix whenever Jeff and I went camping. I got a small box of it. I was gonna get another small box today, but they didn't have any. In fact, this was the only box of this trail mix that they had, like literally the only one in the store. So I grabbed that, Noah and myself, we both liked that. Two gallons of milk, I had gotten down to where I was only buying one a week, but Jeff has started drinking uh, milk in the morning some. So I got that, got some Powerades, the lemon lime, because Jeff takes these to work. And we decided he's got some friends at work that have been drink, uh, drinking these Body Armor uh, Berry, well, not, this is a berry lemonade, but the Body Armor Super Drinks, they've been drinking them. And I noticed that they don't have, um, like, they got a lot of vitamins and they don't have like aspartame or anything like that in there, which I know they're probably not, they're better for you than some things. I'll just put it that way. So we went ahead and grabbed the berry lemonade and the watermelon strawberry. 
and um, I'm gonna try this one Jeff's gonna try that one if we like them we'll probably buy them in the larger packages got a thing of oven roasted turkey breast just the thin sliced lunch meat for um, lunches or whatever and I got this pork sausage there's like 20 patties in here or something and I thought I have never tried this kind before but I thought I can try it because when I flipped it over it has zero carbs it has no fiber but it has zero carbs in it so I thought I can eat one of these patties in the morning with one of these and maybe a little bit of cheese and that will be a good healthier breakfast and I have been eating a lot of those high fiber waffles lately but I've got to step back from those because I'm kind of getting tired of them that's why I bought this and the oatmeal and I do have regular oatmeal but I just wanted to try that I don't know all right and this is for Noah it's some oil for the lawnmower it's the cheapest one we could find and um it's still expensive I remember whenever oil was like less than a dollar a quart now it's like anywhere between three and five dollars no actually it's three and eight dollars a quart so anyway got that got Jeff some more socks he wanted some super long socks these are supposed to go over your calf because his boots for work um he got a new pair recently and they um they um anyway they rub him because they're too short and please ignore my floor over there one of the dogs tore up their pillow i've got to clean it up while we were gone this happened and uh, another one or she also same one got into the cat food and um ate some of it and that's why we try to keep them out of the cat food y'all i want to talk to you about this all right i don't like my dogs eating cat food because it has a lot more protein and it makes them sick now one of them she will if if she can she will sneak in and get it well whenever noah let the dogs in while we were gone he was soaking wet because it was storming and so he didn't think about picking the cat food up so miss maggie got into it and made her belly hurt it seems like she'd learn to stay out of it why don't they learn anyway let me know what you do to stop that because i don't have anywhere else to put the cat food i don't have anywhere high to put it <sighs> maybe i'll have to get jeff to build something to put the cat's food on i don't know but yeah how do you keep your cats or your dogs out of cat food if you have both <laughs> i don't know anyway let's get back to the stuff you're fixing to see something that i don't normally show but i'm gonna show you anyway i got me some of these you know women's things and got jeff some men's ones <laughs> they had okay we had tax-free alabama this weekend so we went ahead and got them while it was tax-free we saved five bucks okay now let, let me go ahead with the things we got from lowe's got Noah a spark plug for the lawnmower now he bought some things off of Amazon and it actually had which he didn't know they were gonna have it two of the things he bought had spark plugs in them he bought a carburetor and uh, an ignition wire of some sort I can't remember what it was called he could tell you but anyways um, he got those they both had spark plugs but they were not the right one for that lawnmower so it's got me kind of wondering are these the right other parts we have they have warranty but anyway we got the correct spark plug and he needed a bolt something broke it is an old lawnmower he needed a bolt for it because one of the bolts broke so this is the only way we could find the one that would work so there's four in there he only needs one of them but now he's got four and because the head of the bolt is smaller then what he needed we got him some little washers to go with it so that's what we got from walmart oh wait we got a 24 pack of dr peppers they're not there that's one reason that i wanted to try this because i do need to get away from the dr peppers again because anyway as i was saying my battery died so as i was saying i want to kind of get away from the sodas again because of the carbonation i've noticed i have a little bit more heartburn sometimes i only drink like one maybe two a day um so i'm not drinking an over amount but these are not carbonated so if these are good they're like a flavor mostly i drink water but 
Sometimes you want something with flavor. And I don't really drink tea anymore, and I don't know why. I drank tea for 43 years, and then all of a sudden I didn't want it anymore. I mean, hot tea, y'all, yeah, I'll take that. I'm also putting up things. But anyways, oh, I can't put it up if I can't. Please stop looking at me like that. <laughs> well, let's see, okay. I'm trying to open the refrigerator. I'm sorry, y'all saw all kinds of things. Anyways. Wonder why Jeff put that cup in the refrigerator with nothing in it. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get away from the sodas a little bit. And I do like things with flavor. I drink my coffee in the morning. Sometimes I drink another at night or in the afternoon. And um, I drink my, um, I'll drink a soda like at night or a treat or whatever. But I don't drink a lot of them. So, anyway, I'm going to go. Because I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I just know I need to kind of step back from the Dr. Pepper. Even though it's one of my favorites. Or it is my favorite soda. <laughs> so, I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope that you um, stuck around to hear the ending. Whatever the ending was. And um, don't forget to check out Avada. Because I got this so cheap. Um because of rebates and bonuses i didn't even know there was a bonus so i'll see you guys next time if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you like my channel go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell to so be notified whenever i upload leave me a comment down below do you use avada or any of the other apps that do rebates also fetch is a good one um if you do let me know and tell me if you have any tips or if there's some that maybe i don't know about <laughs> Again, thank you for watching and remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.